I've had this question asked a number of times. David, can you show us how to back up the configs of multiple switches using Python? So in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick demonstration of how you can back up the configurations of multiple devices using Python. This is one of multiple videos teaching you network programmability using Python and GNS3. So in this topology, we have five switches, switch one, switch two, switch three, four, and five, which is Cisco IOS V layer two switches. Previously, we created various scripts. One of the files is switch loopback file py. So let's have a look at that file. This script is going to open a file called my switches. And for each line in the file, it's gonna telnet to a switch and then it's gonna configure various VLANs. So let's have a look at my switches. That's a list of IP addresses of switches in the network. What I'll do now is copy switch a loop file py to get configs.py. So nano get configs.py. There's some redundant code here, so what I'll do is remove import sys. Let's also add some comments to this code to improve it. So, so this first piece of code will ask for username and password. This will open a file called my switches. Now per Python best practices, you can use either single quotes or double quotes, but it's a good idea to be consistent. So let me fix that and make it consistent. So what happens here is we are asking the user to enter their username and password. Then we open a file called my switches and for each line in the file, which consists of an IP address, it's gonna print out some information. So let's say get running config from switch and then it'll print out the IP address of the switch. Then what it's gonna do is set host equal to the line in the file. Now I'm going to strip redundant information in the line of the file, such as hidden spaces in the file. So when you retrieve a IP address from a file, it's a good idea to strip any white space so that you only get the IP address of the device. Then we're gonna telnet to the device we're gonna enter our username, which was previously requested over here. So that variable stores the username and we're going to write the username to the switch, write the password to the switch. And now rather than doing conf t, what we're gonna do here is type terminal length zero. The reason for doing that is when you type show run, on the switch, by default it only shows you a certain number of lines and you have to press spacebar multiple times to see the full configuration. But if you type terminal length zero and then type show run, it's gonna show you the full running config in one go. And that's what we wanna do. We don't want to program the script to have to look for more and then press spacebar. We might as well just show the entire output of the running config in one go. So I'll copy that to another line. Once we've typed terminal length, we can type show run. We don't need any of this extra configuration. So essentially what we're doing is typing terminal length zero, show run, and we'll exit out of the telnet session. Now we wanna store that information somewhere. So what I'm gonna do is create another variable called read output equal tn. tn is the variable we're using for our telnet session. So notice over here, tn equals telnet library telnet host, host being the IP address found in each line of our file. So we're gonna read all the output 
and then we're going to save that output to a file. So I'm going to open up a file called switch plus the host name, which is the IP address of the switch. I'm going to write to the file. Now previously, when I said F equals open my switches, the default option here is read only. So you could specify an R here for read only, but I'm not gonna bother with that. The default is read only. Here I want the file to be read write. So hence W for read write. Then we're gonna say save output write, because we wanna write the file and we're gonna write the information found in read output. Then we're gonna close the file. So save output close. I'll remove this line because we don't need it. And what we can do here as well is add some comments if we want to. I'm not gonna bore you doing that but you may wanna write comments to make it easier to read your code. Remember, if you write a script today and you come back to it six months from today, you're not necessarily gonna remember everything that you did. So it may be worth adding comments to your code. So I'll save that config and Clear the screen. LS shows us the files. So let's run get configs.py. Username is David, password is Cisco. We told that it's getting the running config from switch with IP address 192.168.122.72. And it's just cycling through the various switches. So now when I type LS, notice we can see switch config stored locally, cat switch 192, let's have a look at 72. That shows us the full configuration in one file. Less makes it easier. So let's install less. We can now use the down arrow or the up arrow to scroll through the configuration of the switch. Press spacebar to jump and Q to quit. So let's catch switch 192.168.122.102. And I'll just use my mouse to go through the config. Notice we see the full Telnet session, so it's not perfect, but there's terminal length zero, and here's the show run, and we can see the full configuration of the switch. So it was as simple as that to get a basic configs of switches and store them in files on the Ubuntu host. So at the moment, we've got our five switches configs stored locally, what I'll do is remove them. So I'll delete all the config files. So they're now gone. And let's get them back again. So get configs py, put our username and password in, and the script is now getting the configurations from each switch. And again, there are our config files, so cat switch, 192, and let's choose another switch, 75. There's the configuration of switch with IP address 192.168.122.75. It's as simple as that to grab configs from multiple switches. Now you tell me, would you rather have a script like this go out and get your running configs of devices on the network or would you rather Telnet to each device individually and have to copy it to a TFTP server or manually grab the config from a show run? This makes it a lot easier. It's not perfect again, but hopefully you can see the power of using scripting for network programmability. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.